We have a lot of special guests. We have a lot of special DJs. We want everybody to have a good time. Then we have a special, my, a special thing where we're going to have a proclamation read. And we're going to pull desert right now. You see that thing right there? We're going to pull it down and it's going to say, do the right thing. Wave. So, everybody, dance, have a good time. We'll be over here with t-shirts. I'm signing them. So, let's go, let's go. Fire it up, baby, fire it up. here on this street today, but just put your fist in the air if you really, truly believe in we over me. Now I know me covers a lot of accountability and responsibility, and we taking seven million selfies these days, because everybody got a camera now, with a, you know, and a phone attached to it, and Twitterverse, and Instagram, but if we could attach a little bit more we, instead of me, then we always can fight the powers that be. It is time for hip hop to man the fuck on up. It is time for hip hop to woman the fuck on up. Y'all didn't hear me now. There was a time they said, you know what? Don't let these rappers speak, especially on the radio. Because it's a problem once the light goes to the people. And we sure enough don't want no light going to Brooklyn. Over the course of time, things change. I'm saying, Brooklyn, you're in the city of New York. There ain't no goddamn home of hip-hop as a radio station. 
It ain't where hip hop lives. It ain't a goddamn I. It ain't a goddamn me. It's a we. And this is where it started 40 years ago. It's no disrespect to me. It's a disrespect to what it is. And if it's a disrespect to what it is, it's a disrespect to what's within. Stand up. It's about the human race. But we ain't gonna allow a group of people based on our characteristics to be disrespected by anyone. And if you don't hear what I'm saying now, you ain't got to hear it. It comes like an echo, like off a goddamn mountain. Because if you don't get it now, then when it's time to know, then you know. This is Fight the Power. Y'all was ready to go, right? So listen. 
I can't believe that Spike put it down like this. I live on Putnam between Lewis and Stylison and it took me half an hour to get here because y'all are in the building. I love you, Brooklyn. I love that style. I see you, DST. I see you in the building, DST. I'm not going to read the whole proclamation. I'm just going to read the last paragraph that says, Today, the people of Christian Street in Bedford-Stuyvesant, the borough of Brooklyn and New York City continue to proudly claim Spike Lee and do the right thing as their own. This community pride has led to the immense public support to memorialize the deep and important connection between the people, the place, and the beloved work of art by co-naming Stuyvesant Avenue between Lewis and Quincy as Do the Right Thing Way. Oh, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it right now. Focus your attention right here. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. I know this ain't fly, Bush, but pull it. Down to my Tony, down to my TV. Down to Mike. You already? <laughs> Tell them about yourself. What's your name? Well, this is Spike Lee, of course. And, uh, you can see it's a little beat up, but uh, I've been taking it around New York City and uh, showing it to everybody, you know. And uh, it's been fun. About five minutes ago, three thousand. Uh, I'm really asking for 10, and I, I went down from 30,000 to 10. So, but if Spike came over here and offered me, you know, I may go down from 10. But, uh, you know, uh, you can reach me at 917-917-657-7300. Uh, and uh, I have a website, it's called idleportraits.com. Idleportraits.com. And uh, also, uh, my email is uh, your mama's cafe, plural, your mama's cafe at Gmail. Hi, my name is Sophia Dawson, also known as Wendy. I'm a visual artist from Brooklyn, New York. I've been painting for 10 years. Uh, most of my work focuses on painting historical figures, um, those individuals who are still alive, who have participated in some type of struggle or movement, and who still need to achieve justice from that movement. For example, um, last week it was in the news that the Central Park Five was finally going to receive their $41 million. Uh, two years ago, when I first saw the documentary, I'm born in 88, that case happened in 89, so I was a baby when that went down. But I saw the documentary a couple years ago, and I found out about this story. So I went to meet them at the court. They have court dates every month. Um, they've been doing that for like 10 years now. So I went to meet them at court, I introduced myself, said hi, I want to paint your portrait, this is what my work is about. I want to help, like raise awareness about what y'all are fighting for. And I did the portraits, and we had an exhibition in February of 2013. So that's the Central Park Five. And now they got their, um, well now they're in the process of receiving their funds. However, there are many other stories like theirs that have happened, so now I have to seek out those individuals and try to help them raise awareness the same way I did with the Central Park Five. Also, I'm working on a series called I Am Free. It uh, focuses on the 20 to 40 remaining political prisoners from the Black Liberation Army and the Black Panther Movement. Um, right now I'm painting Herman Bell, Sundiata Okoli, and Sekou Odinga. Good, it's your girl, Lady Blood. I got mad new shit coming out, shit you ain't never heard me do before. We out here at the Spike Lee event, do the right thing, but you know, sometimes niggas do the wrong thing, but you gotta do the right thing, do the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, do the right thing. But we out here, Lady Blood, I got some new shit coming through. Just holler at me, I'm, I'm here.